Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to RoboThought Zero to Hero series, Python Machine Learning on the Edge. We are on lesson number 28 and I am going to show you how to use a locate attributes in the data frame within Python Pandas. All right. So let me show you guys for we in, in the previous example, say in this one, this example in the previous lesson, I showed you, uh, you know, how the data frame is like a table with rows and columns, right? You can see all those calories burned and number of hours or minutes you ran in, in a column and a kind of tabular structure. But <coughs> Panda in Pandas, you have a attribute or a function or a method called LOC, right? Lock, it's called lock to return one or more specified rows within the data frames and I'm going to show you how it works with a classic example and it's going to be interesting. This function is going to be really, really useful when we have large amount of data sets and millions and trillions of data sets. We can use these kind of functions to grab the data from one particular data frame and do some manipulation for machine learning purpose, right? So let's get into our Jetson Nano. I am already in. Let us use the same example. So if we, if we run this, let's 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 run this and uh, see you get columns and rows. Let me just expand the screen a little bigger. All right. So if we run this program, you get the output in a column and a row, right? Say, for example, zero you have 450 calories and duration is 50 uh, 50 minutes and then the one you have calories 560 same way for two right it, so it's in a columns and rows now what we can do by using this loc lock function or a method how we can access one particular type within the data frame so i am going to show you how all you need to do when you are giving a print command, right? So df dot loc and you set the uh, lo from which location you want to access. Now you need to put a square bracket and say, let us say a sector zero, right? That is the first one. Now let's see what happens. Let's run this program, run Python file in terminal. And you can see calories 450, uh, the calories row, it's, it's got the first location is 450, that is your zero sector and the duration is 50, again it is in zero and then the name is obviously zero and data type is INT64, right, there you go. Now let me give you another example, say, now let's say, uh, what will happen if we need 0 and 1 both say 400 and 500 50 and 60 duration so this is how we do it let me show you with example now df dot log loc you need to just add one more square bracket right so because there are two different arrays you learned about this in numpy and what we need to do is 0 comma 1. So when using this square bracket, the result is a pandas data frame. Okay, it's nothing but it's a data frame. Now let's run this program. Run Python file in terminal. And let's see what happens. There you go. Now you got 0 and 1. Same way you can keep adding 0, 1, 2, 3, 100, 500, 1000. Depends upon your data size, what size you have. And you can directly get into that particular set of array and grab from the data frame. So that's how it is, guys. And I hope you are enjoying this lesson. And I am going to get back to you very soon with lot more examples in pandas it's going to get more and more interesting stay tuned do give me a thumbs up bye bye